tell you about some of the products that I brought and some of the products that I took over and I absolutely loved. So first one, as you can see, I look quite tanned, which is all fake. This is not an even a spray tan. This is Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs. This was an absolute lifesaver for me in America. When my tan was going really patchy and really yucky, I would just put this all over my skin and it gave me such an even glow. So at the moment, I'm actually quite pale and I've just covered myself in these Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs. It says it's for your legs, but you can put it anywhere over the body. So I've got the deep, um, yeah, the deep one. So this I think is one of the darkest and I absolutely love it. It's just a cream. It's like a tanner and it's just a cream that you put all over your body. It tans you instantly and then it washes off in the shower. So for all of those girls who are allergic to tan, I would really, really recommend this, especially just for a night out because it is actually quite hard to get off. You really do need to scrub it. So this was one of my first things that I thought I have to share this with everybody back at home because it was a lifesaver for me. I didn't have to worry about tanning all the time or making sure that my tan looked really even. Like I was just like, that's okay. I'll Sally Hansen my body tomorrow. So next product that I took with me is this Ambience Dry Shampoo. Um, a little while ago, Priceline had like 40% off or 50% off everything hair. And I love my dry shampoo because I only wash my hair once a week. Bad, I know. But I have hairdresser friends that say it's unhealthy to wash your hair every day. So hey, once a week is fine by me. So I decided to get a couple of different dry shampoos. I love the Bastille, the B B Bastise, or however you say that. I don't even have a bottle with me. Um, I love that, but as soon as I put it in my hair, my hair just feels so gritty and instantly disgusting. Like it might look good, but it feels awful. Whereas this Ambience Dry Shampoo, it comes in like a with a like a brush. Oh, it's my hair there. And it's really good because you can actually get to the root of your hair. Instead of just spraying it like I do with the spray and it going everywhere, I actually can put it in the root of my hair and get like really pull up my hair and get right into the roots. And I find that it actually lasts longer. Like my hair doesn't go greasy as quickly and it also doesn't feel yuck. Like it actually feels nice. So I think in America I didn't wash my hair for a while and I was using this every day. So because I've got the blonde, obviously I've got like the lighter color. It also has like a little bit of a shimmer to it as well. So it can actually make your hair look quite nice. It doesn't look greasy at all. Um, but I just wanted to share that with you because I didn't even know that this existed. And then I bought it myself and I absolutely love it. Love, love, love. Okay, so the next couple of products are three foundations. So the first one I'm going to talk about is a L'Oreal one. I'm not sure whether this is here in Australia because it said that it was new um, in America. So I know that we're always a little bit behind. So this is the True Match Lumi. So I used to absolutely love just the Lumi by itself. But what they've done is they've put True Match and Lumi together and made a baby, which is amazing because True Match Foundation is so good and Lumi Foundation is so good and now they're put together. So it's the best combination and I absolutely love this foundation. So I love more of a glowy, dewy look. Um, I'm sort of more normal to dry, so I would definitely prefer to have more of the glowy look. But this True Match Lumi, oh my god, it was amazing. I wore it nearly every day in America. Um, and my friend who was with me, she's like, that foundation looks so good. And I'm like, I know, it's only L'Oreal. So I'm not sure if it's here, but when it does come, if you do like a dewy look, definitely the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. So the next foundation that I love is the Next to Nothing MAC. So they've brought out this new foundation. It's meant to be literally like the barest of foundations on your skin. I really like this. I'm going to wear it to F45. I'm the type of person that goes so red, like so bright red when I exercise and it's so embarrassing. And it's not like bright red all over, it's bright red bright red patchy so red here red here like it's it's awful so I like to have a little bit of coverage on my face so this is for anyone who doesn't really enjoy wearing makeup or doesn't like to look like they're wearing makeup this foundation is actually beautiful and it comes with a matching powder so this is the next to nothing powder so it's a really finely milled powder 
and it's also got a little bit of a sheen to it but it's super finely milled it's not going to give you any more coverage it's just going to help take any sort of shine away and just to set it a little bit more so there's hardly anything there the last foundation that I absolutely loved is Studio Sculpt by MAC. Where have you been all my life? I have so much MAC and I have never tried this foundation. This, this and me, we belong together. Like it looks so good on my skin. I don't have it on at the moment. I'm trying out another foundation, but oh, oh my God. Like this is, it's, it's the one, it's my one. So I highly, highly recommend it is more for like a dry skin. Anything that I recommend is probably going to be more for a dry skin. I don't wear anything that's, you know, for an oily skin because I don't like to look too mattified and I hate it when my skin is dried out as well. So girls, if you're wanting a new foundation, wanting to look a bit more dewy, a bit more glowy, something that isn't going to make your face feel all yuck and cracked, this is the one for you. Next product <clears throat> is this Becca Cross Chrissy Tegan Palette. Is this beautiful or what? So it comes with a blush, bronzer, and the two highlighters. So I actually have this on today, and that highlight is absolutely beautiful. I absolutely love it. Like, Chrissy Teigen, you did such a good job. I think I really like this palette because I like to be quite tanned, and I know that she is naturally tanned, so I think that these colors suit my skin tone um, quite well. If you're really fair, probably stay away, but if you like to be tanned, this is a great palette to get. Another thing that I brought that I did not think that I would love as much is this Laura Mercier Peach Mosaic, and it looks like this. So this, as a highlighter, is absolutely stunning, but I've been wearing it on my eyes. So I've been using this um, highlighter shade in the, in the corner, these two shades like over my eyelid, and then the bronzy one on the outer corners. And I just can't believe how good it looks on the eyes and also as a highlighter. Like it's so easy to pop on and it's just, it really opens and brightens my eyes. So this was another one of my favorites. I didn't, I don't really have any Laura Mercier highlighting quads or anything like that. So I would highly recommend for you to get these girls. It's so beautiful. It's so, like, I would recommend that over lots of other eyeshadow palettes. I'm waiting on Trent to get home and it's so awkward because I don't want to hear him talking. I don't want him to hear me talking to the camera. So I'm always like, is he home? Like, how embarrassing. Trent, are you home? Must be Zara. Another thing that I have to talk about are the sunnies that I wore over in America. I had so many people message me asking what I was wearing. These have all finger marks on them, but that's okay. So these are the high key gold sunnies from um, Key Australia, obviously. So everybody really liked these. The other ones that I was wearing a lot of, which you probably can't wear at the moment because it's winter here and it's freezing, but these were the Sahara. So I actually love these. When I got these, I was like, mm, I don't think I'm gonna like these very much, but they actually suited so well being in the summer. So I liked that. You know, you have the different color range, and I, I, I don't know, it just, I don't know, I don't know. These are definitely not something that I would ever go for, but hey, here I am wearing these sunglasses. And I never actually brought these in America or took these to America, but when I got home, they were here, they arrived the day that I left, which is so frustrating. But these are the new um, Kim Kardashian West and Kylie Cosmetics lip um, cream. So these are actually really beautiful. I have one on now, this is uh, Kiki. So these are actually a really nice formula. They don't feel too drying, they don't feel sticky, and hopefully they'll last for a while. I haven't really been able to have them on for too long at a time, so I'm not really sure how long they last. But these are actually really beautiful. I do recommend these. Majority of the Kylie Cosmetics is good. Um, there have been some things that I have said don't purchase, do not waste your money on, but these I really like. And the colors are really beautiful, so hopefully they'll last quite a long time. I got this Marc Jacobs eyeliner as well. This is a brown one. I find that the consistency of this is really nice. It glides on really nicely and it tends to last quite well. So um, I have heard that Marc Jacobs eyeliners are really good. So if you're after a good eyeliner, I would highly recommend the Marc Jacobs one. Another thing I love 
is this LA Girl Pro Coverage. This is actually quite a cheap foundation, but it's a really good foundation. I found that it's really nice on the skin and it does last a while on the skin. I know that you can only get it from certain cosmetic places. Um, I think MakeupNet.com sells it, um, but these are quite cheap. I think they're about $12 or $15, so this is what it looks like. I have got this foundation on right now, so I'm in the color Sand. So anyone who's wanting to get the Sally Hansen and put it on their skin, if you're wanting to match that color, um, Sand from LA Girl is perfect match. Like I can look in here and I'm, I think it's pretty good match for me. So yeah, if you're wanting to match your foundation to your Sally Hansen, definitely get the Sand in the LA Girl foundation. So another thing I got was the Grande Lips Hydrating Lip Pump. Plumper. So this is in the color cashmere. I feel like it's a little bit too light for me, but that's okay. Oh, sorry, cashmere buff. Um, I've never been into lip plumpers, but this one I really liked, and it actually has a really nice, like, gloss to it as well. So I'll try and pop a little bit on. The only thing I don't like about it is it's got like the clicker thing, and like I click it and click it, and nothing comes out. So I keep clicking it, and then all of a sudden, all this stuff spurts out. So it's really it's the only thing that I don't like about it because there's like there's so much wastage to it. I don't know if the little thing gets blocked or yeah, I've pushed it like eight times already. I don't think I should keep continuing to push it. How disappointing. So the packaging is shit, but <laughs> the actual product in it is good. So it's Beauty Choice product winner. I, I knew it was good. So if you can find it, Grande Lips, I don't know if they sell it here in Australia, but um, I think I got that from Namies, and we don't have a Namies here. We don't have a lot of stuff here. It's really frustrating. Things over in the US weren't that much cheaper. Um, oh, they weren't cheaper at all. The, the dollar at the moment is so bad. The only thing that was a little bit cheaper was Mac, um, obviously because I have a pro card with Mac, so I can get things cheaper there. But in terms of everything else, it was so expensive. It was so beautiful and warm. Um, in Vegas, it was like 38 degrees, so coming back here to Melbourne to like 8, I think it's 8 degrees today, or like 9 degrees, it said in the car this morning. So it's really, really uncomfortable and really awful, but hey. One last thing, while I was in Sephora over there, I was able to get four of their mini tweezers. And I find that tweezers are one thing that are really hard to buy because a lot of them, they don't pick up the hairs or the pointy bits aren't matching, so it's really hard to get the hairs. Being a beauty therapist, I've worked in the industry for over 10 years, and I the amount of tweezers I've gone through because I can't find any good ones. And I have to say, all of these are so good. And they're minis, like you can have one in the car, one in your handbag, one at home, one next to your bed, who knows, I don't know what you do. But yeah, these are amazing. So I'm not sure if they're in the Sephora here, but if they are, Honestly, get them. Like, they're so worth it. I was really, really impressed. I was honestly thinking that these weren't going to be no good. Um, a lot of tweezers are no good. But, yeah, I really like these ones. They came in sort of this packaging. So, yeah, if you see these at Sephora, definitely get your hands on them. Oh, my gosh. One more thing I forgot to talk to you about is these lashes from Flutterlash. They're the Ursatz ones. They're the premium. And I'm wearing the 143. So these are the lashes that I wore every time that I was on Snapchat or any time that you saw me when I was over in America. So these are my absolute favorite, favorite lashes. So they're from Flutter Lashes, Ursatz 143. There are a lot of other things that I loved, but I it's so hard to recommend them because I know that you can't get them here in Australia. So I don't want to be like recommending something and telling you to go and get it if you can't get it. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it was informative and I hope that some of these products will be beneficial to you. Hopefully you can go out and get them. Um, you may not like them. I'm just sharing what I love and what has helped me. So hopefully it will help you as well. And then you can add all of this to your collection at home. So if you enjoyed this video, please let me know so then I can make some more. Thanks for watching. Bye. Are these like not the coolest glasses or what?